So ni ajeni guys, I hope mukopoa hadi mimi niko fit. It's another day ya ku record episode na tuna thank God. Leo tunaingia <laughs> hey. The most interesting story yenye everybody knows about Samson. It's called the story of not yet, but Jeffkey and Delilah. The foxes, the 300 foxes zenye anazisendigi mali zika manyoria watu. Siku manyoria watu zika spoils planda ya wasi. Aya, wacha katambe basi. Sini kitabu cha judges, leo ni mlango wa kuminatano, dirisha ni ya kwanza. Let's go. And it begins. But it came to pass. Hey. Within a while after, in the, in the time of quit harvest that Samson visited his wife with a kid and he said I will go into my wife into the chamber but her father will not suffer him to go in niliwambia king james bible likisema jina suffer inamaanisha permit so bible likisema you will not suffer my foot to be hurt i carry your presence everywhere Okay, yoni Theophilus aliongezea line, but the first line ni you will not suffer my foot to be hurt na manisha, you will not permit, you will not allow. So hapa Bible inasema that his father will not suffer him to go. Catch this. Verse 2. And her father said, I verily thought that thou hadest utterly hated her. Therefore, I gave her to thy companion. Companion mgani. <laughs> you guys remember the 30 Eh, Philistine men wenye walikam kwa Basha Samson wakawage waka waka uliza ule dem story ile parable ule dem akawaambia si parable riddle la kawaambia wakakam wakamdai manguo akaenda another place akawa watu that akaleta hizo makladi the best man the best man in that wedding ndo alimwambia niaje chuko dota wangu sababu ni kama Samson yuko isa yake tena This is interesting. Therefore, I gave her to thy companion. Is not her younger sister fairer than she? Take her, I pray thee, I pray thee instead of her. Take her, I pray thee instead of her. Mzaga mwambia, fanya hivi. Ju unajua uko Isaya. Unajua nimekufanya mbaya. Eh wewe chukua sister yake mdogo, my younger daughter but wewe shaona mtu hata like genuinely speaking wewe shaona mtu anakatia sister mmoja and then anaenda nakatia sister mwingine like there is already a red sijui kama ni red flag ama ni there is a line that you don't cross kitu kama hiyo si ndio so hapa kaambi waenda uchukue sister yake mdogo kasema Samson said concerning them now shall I be more blameless than the Philistine though I do them a displeasure verse 4 and Samson went and caught 300 foxes Wewe imagine mtu akishika 300 foxes now those people who wanatakaga bible ikuwe a logic book iache kukua iache e, kukua a spiritual book wanakujanga na state swali kama hizi mtu anashikaje 300 foxes i'll give you three three reasons why i think he he might have got these 300 foxes and sent them to the field Uh, verse 4 and Samson went and caught 300 foxes and took firebrands and turned tail to tail and put a firebrand in the midst between two tails alafu verse 5 inasema and when he had set the brands on fire he let them go into the standing corn of the Philistines nani ashaenda kwa shamba akawasha kuni akawasha kiberiti sile kuna harvest unjo ikimaanisha ni ku harvest na maanisha vitu zina dry up when things are drying up a single match will burn like an inferno and that's exactly what happens but before okay let me start by telling you why i believe it must have been so then i'll tell you something about setting the foxes on fire let us attend us and i don't think we have to go so long or so far skiza samson it is mean i believe samson ali set the foxes on fire ya ukweli whoever disputes dis, disputes that niko na three reasons for you number one, there is nothing in the bible that claims solomon alifanya hii kazi yote ya kushika the foxes in one day which means he, he could have done it in a longer time number two, there is nothing in the bible that states samson alifanya kazi peke yake reason number two. and number three, 
the word that is translated for foxes apa in is translated for jackals and jackals are known to travel in packs of 200 of them and more which means it must have been it could have been possible so with the advantage of time with the advantage of human resource and with the advantage of species probably alizishika labda translation ya word ndio ilikuwa different ama alisaidiwa na watu ama alifanya for a longer time akizisundaga labda kwa cave or something well that's just to dissuade the unbelieving heart with that said, I just want to give you an approach to scripture nye ninge takasisi wote tukwa genayo. Ukienda kusomo scripture, nata kukwa genayi mindset, inasema nga, God, I believe, help my unbelief. You will always find an answer. Why? Because the law of the Lord is perfect. There is no error or error, as wado wanyobu wange taka kusema, in the scripture. If you come with that standpoint, you will always see something. Kuna tweet ni me post recently ni me on I for Jet. Labda ni JK ndi wa me post. Some guy I follow on TikTok. Some guy or lady. Haka sema, if Jesus seems to be contradicting Paul and Paul seems to be contradicting Jesus, three things are true. Paul is not wrong. Jesus is not wrong. You are wrong. Your interpretation of the scripture could be butchered by your cultural a setting by your educational background and understanding by your biblical theological teacher kitu kama hiyo but always through and thara the scripture as bible says in psalms chapter 119 the uh, chapter 19 the law of the lord is perfect I hope mtani samehe there's a lot of noise mimi nasikia maliniko I hope you guys don't get to hear all of it vile mimi naisikia but yeah, let's talk about foxes on fire, setting foxes on fire. And there are two things about these foxes on fire. I hope I will be able to remember the second one. Uh, uh, someone someone uh, I work with, Anashinanga, can educate. He's educated me, and I think I can remember this on March 4th, 2013. We were somewhere, and he was teaching us about setting foxes on fire. These foxes on fire, the Bible not in Ongelelanga Holy Ghost come fire. One of the ways to set believers on fire is by inputting the fire of the Holy Ghost on their head. How do you receive the Holy Ghost in your head? By daring in Jerusalem after you have received the Son, you can receive the gift of the Son. I'm the spirit of the Son, which is the spirit of Jesus, which is the Holy Ghost, which is the fire. Number two, the fire of God's anger. The anger of God. Ukakuwa na ile scripture na ongelele anga. Zeal for my father's house has consumed my life. Hiyo. It has set the enemy ablaze. It has set the enemy running far and wide. Nani pata? Ata shindo kukukaribia. Bebo ni na ongelele anga. He has made his ministers flames. Na ni mesawe ngini about his angels. But he has made us to be flames of fire. Nisha witness nse ana and I perform deliverance over somebody and this is what they did because the spiritual realm in understanding the language of life and spirit and fire in ajwanga bro this gentleman just put his hand on the chest of this person who was supposed to be delivered and after spending four to five seconds your story i'll never forget what i saw the gentleman screamed out as if a spirit was coming out of him in deliverance and i looked at the man and i thought uni mse tu ordinary si tunamwangalia but in the spirit he is a blazing fire ushae kapasi kwa mkono yako one second how do you feel pasi kama ni moto unafanya ngivi you can't one two three seconds it you know that right because it is blazing it is it is hot it is fiery that's the same thing that happens to us to keep our believers when you turn a burn by the presence of God. Our God is a consuming fire. We become what we behold. If we behold of him so much so mbaka tuna become kama yeye. A, a devil of last year kikam kwa life yako atapata when in fano. He will not just find you at 20 degrees at 37 degrees like your own body. Mm -mm. He will find you at a thousand Fahrenheit, whatever that is. I just wanted to put that word there. He will find you blazing. Kama kama vile gold you was melted na a lot of. God makes his ministers to be flames. So, one of the ways to be impactful in our generation 
Jew to understand when he released the foxes into the fields. This is what happened in scripture. What happened is, as he released the foxes into the field, Walienda waka destroy the fruitfulness of the land. Walienda waka land, in short, wali impoverish Philistia. Kwa nini? Juu wali washa moto. A society is run by vampires, hypocrites, and parasites. Unajua, ule regi artist alisema, we live among the creatures of the night, the vampires, the hypocrites, and the parasites. How do you Interestingly enough, all of these things can be destroyed by fire. You cannot explain fire for your information. There was a guy I was talking to. If I don't have fire, minister Velena, Minister Pasai, you will not need to look at anybody in the eyes and be like, Angalia, watch KK to Chambue Manze. If I don't have it, you really don't have to explain it because it's not there. Nikambia Bestiangu, bro. Moto ikuwe as big as Nairobi wildfire, ikuwe as small as a cooking pot, a ili a gas I mean, ama ikuwe kiberiti, ikiwashwa uwekele kidole yako, my friend utasikia, utasikia kitu. There is something about fire that every single creature respects. Every single creature cannot endure the place of real, genuine what? Power. So believers, we are urged to be foxes set on fire. Number two, to be foxes set on fire. Because once we are foxes set on fire, we will, we will establish a lot. And Leo, Mr. Ongea sana, ndaka tu tufikia po verse number six. But ni kona suwali. How many of us wange ataka kukua set on fire in the first way? And what is the first way? The first way to be set on fire is by receiving the spirit of Jesus. We receive the spirit of Jesus by confessing him as our Lord and Savior. First. So you can just repeat after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I accept that you died on the cross for my sin and you rose again from the dead. Come into my life, transform me, and make a change in me. In Jesus Christ we pray. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. And so come and make your prayer, bro, may join the family. And make no mistake, I will always be sound to say it's just the beginning. Because if you just because you've done that side devil atakuangalia, wash your motto. Wash your motto until you burn like an inferno. Are we together? Yeah, with that said, to Copa Moja, we shall communicate, we shall continue. Yeah, God bless you guys. God bless you.